Hi everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, fabulous, fantastic, super califragilist, expanded, just type of day today so far. <laughs> Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Gabe, and welcome. Come on in, pull up a chair, grab yourself a little snack, a little something, something, because today, guys, Oops Dior has done it again. And yes, when I say that, they have changed their formulation of the Skin Correct Foundation, or the Foundation List, that'd be bad. The concealer, <laughs> the foundation's for last year. This is the Forever Skin Correct. I have the new formula. We're going to be looking at the packaging. We're going to be looking at all of those good things. And I also have it compared to the older. This is the older. I have the older packaging um, as well as two different shades in the older. And I also have the, um, the, the Flash Luminizer. That Dior used to make that they don't carry anymore. We're going to be comparing that too with the Dior. Um, this is the Dior show backstage. We have it too. We're going to be comparing it to that. So if that interests you at all, if you are somewhat interested in a new concealer, do you even care if Dior has a new concealer update? Then you know that if you are interested, then stick around and let's get into it. Quick disclaimer really fast just to let you guys know that I do, if you are new to my channel, I do work for Dior. I'm a regional makeup artist for them and I do do some traveling and do do some freelance work for them here and there. So just to throw that out there, just to let you know that um, I will do my best to give you my honest opinion on this. It's not just because I work for the company um, that I will try to give, I will try to give like a biased opinion on the product. Um, I know that whenever I reviewed this one, um, I was not crazy about it. I will let you know if there's something that Dior does come out with because you know sometimes they come out with stuff that's not as always a hit um so maybe this may be a hit and it may not be but um because I've not tried it yet so I don't know but just wanted to let you guys know that I will give you my honest opinion on it and just wanted to throw that out there before we got started you guys in a little bit well I, I pulled you in just a little bit further so you could look at my who's that girl Madonna brows that I've got <laughs> I feel very who's that girl from, you know, Madonna's movie, like, way back in the day, back in, like, 87 or something. That's what I feel like right now with the blonde hair and the brows. But uh, we, we're doing an eye look later, and I just thought I'd go ahead and put on my brows. This will make Belinda happy. Belinda, I put my brows on for you girls. So, there you go. Because she's always saying, Gabe, you look so much better with your brows on. So, yeah. So, let's get into this, guys. So, this is the um, this is the older Dior Skin Correct. So, this is what the packaging looks like on the outside. As you can see, it's a lot more shinier. And this is the newer formulation. So the box is the new matte that Dior is going with. Um, it has actually changed a little bit. The, the Forever is down here now where it used to be up here. So you can definitely see if you're in a store or anything like that, you can see the difference between the packaging. So if it's shiny, you know that it's the older. If it's the newer, it's the actual matte. So you can tell the difference. Um, I did pick this up in the shade 2WP in this one. Um, this is one that I have in 00. I have this one as an extra as for like for to actually add, actually add to a darker shade to give me a little bit more of a brightness um, because I love this product here, but they discontinued it a while back and it's a luminizer and they had it like shade to brighten the eye area um, or wherever you wanted to brighten your face. So I got a, one of these. So I have one of these and then the original shade I had it in was in 3CR. So we went down just a little bit lighter because I'm a little bit lighter right now. So we did go in 2WP, but let's um, just to compare the two. Let me pull it out of the box. The ounces are still the same guys there's still the point 37 um where this is point 37 you can still see that it's still the same actually let me give you the new let me get the newer one out so you can kind of see it a little bit so this is the newer one see this is how much lighter this one is but i got it just for brightening um but see it's like you can see the forever is down the side the skin correct is down the side and now it is across the top um, it's still a point thirty seven, like I said. It's still supposed to be transfer proof. It's still supposed to not crease and fine lines and wrinkles. Um, it's supposed to be all day wear coverage. Um, I mean, it's supposed to be a fuller coverage. It now has the wild, it has the pansy extract, and it also has yellow extract in it, which is supposed to actually help with brightness and smoothness, where the older formula did not have that. Um, the I think this formula did have the pansy extract in it, but now it has 96% of the pansy extract in it, where this one did not. It is dermatologist tested, and it's non-comedogenic. Um, so yeah, and then the tubing is a little bit different. If you can see, this one feels more plasticky. This is more glass. So this is more of a glass um, 
as far as the tubing goes, if you can see the way that the packaging is, it's more glass. Where this one is more, it's got more, but it's got more of a plastic feel to it. This is definitely more glass. This is heavier. It's a little weighted, more weighted, and this one is not. So this just to keep that in mind too. So um, let's pull it out and show the divots, so you can guys see the divots. If the divots have changed, we can kind of compare them to that. If it look like this is the older formula and this is the newer formula. So side by side, they still pretty much the they still pretty much look almost the same. I don't think the defects have really changed. Um, I feel like the lid on the newer one is going to be a little bit better um, than uh, than it was on the older one. If you guys see the older one doesn't have the newer one has this little it, it's really like it's got a little seal around the bottom of it. This one has a seal around here, but it doesn't have it around the cap. So when you would take it out the cap would start to look like this. So it start getting, see how messy it gets? It gets really, really messy. So I'm hoping that with this new packaging, with this one, that it's not gonna do that because now it, you, you have to kind of like, you have to kind of pull it out more. So it feels like it kind of grabs that excess concealer. So I think that was one of the um, problems with the older concealer was that it was extremely messy. And a lot of people kind of, um, they didn't like that and was wasting a lot of product. Um, we'll see where this one, when you pull it out, it just comes right out. See, it just comes out. It doesn't even have a, it's not gra grabbing it like the other one. So that's a good thing. So, I mean, so the wand is the same pretty much. It's just, they just got a little uh, inserter now. So when you pull it out, it's a, it actually pulled off that excess product, which that's a really nice thing. Um, so yeah, so let's, uh, let's just play with some of the colors first on my hand and feel the textures and see, um, and see what we think. This is all th four of the different, uh, textures. So this one up here is the, this is the flash luminizer that they used to carry. This is the Dior show, the backstage. This is the um, older formulation of the Skin Correct. And this one is the new formulation. So if you see definitely the, the more of the Dior show, it's got a little bit more of a radiance to it. If you can kind of see it or if you guys can see, it does have a little bit more of a radiance. It's got a little more of a slip. Um, the same thing with the flash. The flash has also got that kind of slip to it. This one and this one are more similar as far as texture goes. The texture feels almost very similar. Um, so if you're kind of um, wanting something a little bit more emollient, I probably would go with one of these. Now, I will say the Dior, the Backstage, was not one of my favorite concealers. When I reviewed this one, I really didn't care for it much, but I've learned to kind of grow with it a little bit, but I've got to actually mix it with something because um, it's not my favorite by itself. It is a it is a decent concealer. It's not something that I would brag about. I, a lot of people love it. They they find to really enjoy it. Um, I think it's okay. Um, it's not, again, it's not one of my favorites. It wasn't one of my top, um, you know, one of my top 20, 22 favorites, but it is a good concealer. Um, you know, if you want to, if you're kind of looking for something then you, it's just a certain kind of a customer that's kind of looking for because the dry down on it, if you can see, once it dries down, it's not the radiance that it was before. It dries down to more of a natural where the flash luminizer used to stay radiant. So that was the two different things between these two. But this is closer to this one than um, this one will be. Now, this one is the older version. And this is a different color though. It is 3CR, so she's a little bit more darker than the newer one that I got, because I got 2W Peach this time, because I wanted a little bit more of a peachy hue this time. So I went more peachy. Um, but so far, they kind of look the same, and I don't know if they're gonna be, probably the way that they're blending out, um, it looks a little bit the same a little bit. I mean, May, yeah, yeah, I mean, pretty much so far, they look very similar as far as the way that they kind of blended out. They're still blending out very similar. Um, actually, the newer one might have a hint of more radiance to it, so I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait and see when we get ready to put it on. Um, so this shade is a little bit darker than this shade, so when we use it, I will probably have to go in with a little bit of this one since it is the older formula still, and we can kind of mix it just to lighten it up a tad so it won't be so um, a little bit darker than the other one. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I think it's gonna, I think they're both look very similar. Again, I think the dry, I think the dry down on this one is just a little bit more, um, it's got a little luminosity to it. So, hmm, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I wanted to see if it smelled, because I don't remember the other one smelling. So this is the, the, that's some of the new one. 
The, the new one, it's got a smell to it. So it's not fragrance free. It's definitely got a, if you can smell the flowers in it. So it's definitely got that pansy kind of a smell to it. You can smell the flower in it for sure. No, this one doesn't smell. This one just smells like, I don't want to say paint, but it's got that very, um, let me smell the fresher one so I can make sure that it, you know, to make sure about the smell. Yeah, it's just, it's got a little bit more. This one is a little bit older, so it does have a little, it doesn't smell as fresh as this one. But this one doesn't have a smell at all. This one doesn't. So, if you guys had the older one and you liked it because it didn't have a smell, this one, this new one, she's got a smell. And it definitely, you can definitely smell it. That is for sure. So, fragrance free, she is not. So, she has definitely got some fragrance in this one. Let me smell the backstage, the Dior backstage. Let me just smell it. Yeah, no, it smells, it's fragrance free too. You can, you, there's no smell in this one either. It just smells, I don't want to say paint, but it's just got that concealer kind of smell to it. If you didn't add fragrance to it, that's what it smells like. Okay, guys, so we are ready to dive in. I think we've got enough with comparisons and everything and information and all that good stuff. So I think we've got all that out there. I did want to mention, I forgot to mention that the new one did go up $2. So it is $40 where the original was $38. So I do want to just kind of throw that out there. So now it had, did have a markup. Um, which is typical. Everybody's doing markups on all the cosmetics, and I know it sucks, but it's, I guess, it's the inflation is what they're saying. Um, so, with that said, I have no control over that, but just to let you guys know, it did go up $2. Um, so, what I think I'm going to do is because um, I have a, ooh, a little bit of mascara right there. Um, uh, basically, this is like my harder eye to cover. So, I think we're going to do the new one on this side. So, um, it would be like, I guess it would be, this would be on my right. This would be on my left. So, on the right side, we're going to do the newer one. And on this side, we're going to do the older one. Um, so, with that said, let's go in. So, I, again, I have the shade 2WP in this one. Um, and, you know, it's like, it looks really, I'm like really excited about it, actually. So, I don't want to do, I'm not really crazy about doing a lot from the Dove Fit, but because it's a new product, it, but it's a full coverage, I don't want to do a ton. So, it'll probably a lot goes a long way. So, we're going to see. So, I'm going to take out my um, Angie Hot and Flashy brush, and we're going to go in here and just kind of start building it up a little bit. Now, I will say just for, um, you know, just to kind of throw this out there, I was not really crazy about the older formula. I'm just going to be honest. I, I liked it, but I would have to mix it with stuff. So, um, I don't know how I... I liked it, but it just was just a, it was just a little bit too matte for me, is what I'm trying to say. It was just a little bit too matte, um, so I wasn't really crazy about that. Um, so it would, it just would, I'd have to mix it with a really more of a dewier concealer. Um, so maybe this one might be a little bit better for me and I might enjoy it better. Um, I did like the way it wore and I did like the way it looked sometimes if I mixed it with something, but I didn't like it by itself. But wow. Okay, Dior. Hmm. Now, like I said, I've got foundation on and stuff already and I put on a little bit of bronzer. I put a little bit of my Chanel bronzer on. But I didn't want to put any, I haven't put any powder on or anything like that yet. So, we don't have any of that on. I don't have on any eyeshadow base or anything of that either. Because I didn't want it to contrast with this. So, you guys could see the difference between my actual shade color of my eyelid and the actual concealer color. But, wow. I mean, it looks really pretty. It's like, let me see. Hold on, let me grab my mirror real quick. Let's see. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm getting a little shocked here. All right. Okay. So, up here, it looks a little bit more radiant, again, like it does, like the Dior show did, because they did the same thing. It looked really radiant when I put it on, but then when it started to dry, it started getting a little bit more matte. However, I will say, it looks pretty good. It looks really nice, though. I mean, it's not, um, it's a little bit more, it's still, she, you know, I'm kind of patting it out. I guess it's kind of drying, because it's like, I still got, it's got a tacky feel to it right now at the moment, and I guess she's still drying out. Um, it's like, I feel like the other one may be a little bit more powdery. Who knows? I don't know. So, um, before, let's go ahead and finish. Let's build this up a little bit more before we move on to the other one. So, I don't have to clean my brush 500 times. So, let's just take a little bit more and build up the coverage just a tad bit more. And, because I want to see how full of coverage we can get. We, I mean, hell, we might as well, while we're here, we might as well just go ahead and do it. So, let's go ahead and tap this out. Kind of really press it in to the, I have that little indention that most people do right here. 
And that's what I like to kind of, not cover, but just make it look a little bit less obvious. And I'm going around my Madonna brows. <laughs> I have my Madonna brows. I just love the what I was doing with my brow brows. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make my pencil just a little bit darker today. So I mean, but it's the same color. It's just like it just it just looked a little different. So now I'm gonna pat a little bit around. Let me pat on my finger a little bit, a little bit more. This one definitely has a feel. I mean, I, again, I don't know when we get to the other one. Maybe we'll see. But it feels like it's got a little bit more of a tack to it. So it's got more of a, like when you kind of touch it, you can feel the tackiness. Now it is drying down. So I can feel the dry down. And it looks on camera, it looks like it's got a radiance. It looks like it has a more of a radiance. Even looking up close, it looks like it's got a little bit more of a radiance to it. And that may be because of now they've added more of the, um, it might be the, the yellow, the, the, it's the, it's the yellow, it's the Y-A-L-L-O is what I think the yellow extract is what they call it to brighten. And I don't know, maybe more of the wild pansy. I don't know, but it, whatever it is that it is, it's like, it feels like it's a little bit more, it's got a little bit more of that radiance to it. So, I mean, I'm not mad about it. Really. Hmm. I'm not mad about it at all. I'm kind of liking it. It's not bad. So far, I mean, so far, I'm kind of... Maybe I'm liking it a little bit better than the older one? I mean, I don't know. Well, when we get... Well, let's go ahead and get over to this one and let's play with this one and see... Um, let's see and kind of compare the two and see. This is the older formula, so this is the old one. And I also remember, just to show it again, so I'm, I'm just being fair... This is the older formula too. So this is a darker color than this shade. This is 2WP, this one 3CR. I bought this one when I was a little bit more tanned. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take a little drop of this and mix it together, but it is the same formula. So it won't be anything different or changing it or whatever. But with this one, um, I mean, instead of taking it with, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna mix just a little bit on the back of my hand. Um, so we can do that, but I will show you, see again, how messy it gets whenever the old one, I mean, it's like I'm hoping so far, that one seems to be pretty cool as far as the packaging goes. The packaging is a little bit better, I think, but you know, I know some of you guys don't like glass, but I mean, but that's the way the future is. Everybody going to the glass packaging more. So now I'm going to mix that together and it's going to make it a little bit more, see it's making it a little bit brighter. So it's not so, it's not so dark. Um, so I think I got it mixed pretty good together. So let me go in here and start tapping this out a little bit. I was hoping, the thing about it was, I was hoping that they would come out with another version of the Luminizer, the Flash Luminizer. I love that product. It was so good. And most of our customers that loved it too, they were so upset when they discontinued it. Um, but it is just a beautiful product. It's such a beautiful product. Now, I did really hydrate too, so I don't know. That might be another reason why it's looking a little bit more glowy than normal. But, I mean, but it, let's see. So far, it's like... Now, the color's not going to look exactly the same, but it's going to look a little bit... Because remember, we brightened this one up with just a little bit, much more lighter. So I could always go back in and add a little bit more of the brightness towards the end. I can add a little bit of that zero, zero to this one too. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell with I don't have the same color. So that's the only thing that's gonna throw it off a little bit. So just keep that in mind that the colors are different. And even though I bright, I took that a little bit of that lighter color, it's gonna, it's gonna make it look a little bit more brighter. Um, but yeah, it looks really pretty. It, I will say that it, with the brightening, it does decide and looks pretty good. Um, but this is what it's looking like. So again, this is the new formula. This is the newer, and this is the older formula. Um, I will have to say it looks, this one's more matte. Up close, it's definitely more matte. This one's more matte. It is definitely more matte. It is definitely more matte, for sure. This one is a lot more radiant. She got a lot more radiance to her. This one does. This one does not. This one's a little bit more, once it dries down, it's definitely more of a natural matte finish. 
Now, according to what it says, and let me reiterate, I'm going to look on the box again just to make sure whenever I read it. Um, I'm pretty sure that whenever, um, you know, Sustainable Beauty made in France, um, I'm sure that when I read it on the instruction, that it said it was a it was a full coverage and it was a natural finish. I don't think it said a flat matte or anything, but it said a natural finish, and that's what this one was with more of a matte. So um, definitely, if you look up close, this one is see how much more this one's got more sun. This one doesn't. So see the difference. So if you guys love the old one because it was more, it had more of that natural matte flat finish, this one's gonna be shinier. Already I can tell you, that's crazy. That is crazy. I didn't really, I mean, I thought they were gonna be almost the same one. I kinda, I was playing with it just a little bit on my back of my hand before we started filming, just to see if I could get a feel for it. And they both looked almost the same on my hand. Um, and like when we were showing, you know, in the back of my hand earlier, it looked, they looked a little similar, but now on the skin, mm -mm, it's totally different. This one's way much more, she's got a little bit more, definitely more luminosity than the other one. And I have the same eye cream on both sides. I did primer. I did the, um, I did the Laure. I did it in the Guerlain. I did it earlier. Um, Foundation's the same. I did the Capture Total mixed with the Forever Matte, my little favorite combo. And I put both of them on it. And we don't have powder on. Um, so I didn't do any powder on underneath my eye area or anything like that. So, yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? Wow. Okay. All right. Well, definitely leaks it. So let me... um. Let me add just a little bit more to this side. So let me take a little bit more of that. And, you know, maybe we might even add just a little bit more to this side. Just to play with it a little bit more. Just to see what we, how much more we can get. I will have to say, though, too, coverage-wise, I feel like this one gives more coverage. Though I don't know if you guys really like the other one for the coverage. See, I'm not a big coverage person, so it doesn't really, I, I don't, I don't really need, I, I can do, I can kind of, because I don't want it to get too cakey, but I know some people, they love that immediate coverage. So we're going to go in here, we're going to add a little bit more of that same mix that I did. And again, it's going to probably look just a tad bit brighter. And I know that's probably what's throwing me off a little bit is that, but, but the matte is definitely throwing me off for sure. Just a little bit more down here on my nose. And I'm gonna take a little bit more on my face so that way you guys can see a little bit on the face too. And let me take a little bit of my sponge and just cover up a little bit. I just had on a little bit of the Chanel bronzer. I put just a little bit of that on earlier. So I'm gonna tap a little bit in this. And let's just do a little bit on the face and see what only thing I took around was my brows was a little bit. I did a little bit just to kind of give them a little something around the brows. And I powdered them. Okay. Just to give a little bit more coverage here. Okay. Now on camera, she still looks really, she, looks, she does look natural on camera. It looks natural on camera. Nope. She's matte. It's definitely, it's matte when I look at it. You can see some of the shine has gone. When you look at this side, you can see the shine. All right, now let's do this side. Let me clean my brush again. I meant to tell you guys, it is really, really hot in my room today. We here in North Carolina, we're almost, we're, we experienced just like 74 degrees yesterday. We're having really weird thunderstorm today. It is extremely hot and humid outside. Um, we don't have the air on in the house, but it is really warm in here. And with all these lights, it's very hot. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there to you too. It is not cold here at all. We're not going to be getting any cooler weather, somewhat cooler weather until way after tomorrow or the next day. Um, so we've been experiencing very oddly warm. So I'm very warm too. So that's another reason why I'm probably a little bit more dewy because I'm, I'm warm. Um, but, um, but you can still see the matteness on this side compared to this side. You can definitely see that. So let's see what the new one looks and we'll do some on the face and a little bit more here, um, around the eye area. So I'm going to take a little, I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand this time. And we're going to go just like we did the other one. And I'm going to press it in a little bit more here. And about right through there. And let me just blend that out just a tad bit more on my finger. 
a little bit more. I will say that if you were using this one, the older one for eyeshadow base, I don't know if I would use this new one as the eyeshadow base. If it's gonna be the, it's still got that little bit of a little more of a glow. So it's not as matte as the other one. So if you were using it for an eyeshadow base, it's, this one's gonna be not as, it's not gonna be the same. Just saying. All right, so see, it's just, it's it's got a glow. I mean, it's got a glow for sure. So let's go back. I'm gonna put a little bit here like we did on the other side. And I'm gonna put it just a little bit in areas and let's go around with my sponge and let's just see how it does on the skin. And maybe it just, um, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's because I'm hot, I don't know. I wanted to give it a fair chance. I don't want it to be like, you know, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make sure that it got like a fair chance. Okay, let me take just a little bit more here. On my nose. I didn't put any stuff in powder jet. It's kind of like I'm kind of glad I didn't I didn't really powder down here so, you, so we could kind of play with it on the face and see. Because I know some of you guys use this for like a foundation sometimes. Um I know that a lot or that's what I've heard customers say when they use it. Okay. Well, I mean, it gives a pretty good, I still feel like this one give more coverage, I feel like. This one just give a lot more coverage. Um, this one is, I feel like you just got to build it a little bit more. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm going to get my mirror, but it, this is glowy. It's definitely more glowy. I mean, compared to look, this one's more flat. This one's more glowy. Yep, it's got more radiance to it, even looking in the mirror. Now, it's not, it, on the camera, it looks a little bit more intense. But here, it's like, it's definitely not. Here, you can definitely see the glow, which to me, I like that. So, I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. Um, but, wow, okay. Well, there you have it, boys and girls. If you were, um... If you've fallen down the Dior rabbit hole <laughs> and you don't like some of the newer products or maybe if you didn't like the older ones, then we'll have a little bit of a diversity fight down in the comment section. But um, but yeah, it's definitely um, a big difference there. So um, so anyway, let me, um, let me just retouch the lips a little bit and let's push you guys back and let's have a discussion. So, so I mean, between these two, I mean, here we go again. This is the, this is the skin. Let me move just a little bit more so you guys can see. So this is the skin, the new one, the new skin correct. Make sure I'm saying it right. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Not, you can see the luminosity. It's a little bit more, definitely more radiant. Um, you can also see that it gives, it says a full coverage, but to me, it's not the coverage that it was before, to me. All right, so now this one, now that we've got that, my poor brow, my Madonna brows to fall apart. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so now this is the older one. And of course we did, of course I did, I had, you know, this one just a little bit to give it a little bit more to make it look not, not too dark. Um, so that is it. And it's not, I mean, but it's definitely more matte than this one. Let's see the shine on this one. Don't see this much shine on this one. And the coverage is a little bit more. You see the coverage here? I mean, compared to look, I mean, look. So the coverage here, compared to the coverage here, the coverage is more. You're getting more coverage on this one. And I don't know if it's because of the radiance and it's kind of reflecting the light off of it that's making it look like it doesn't have as much coverage. Um, this one, because this one was more matte, it's looking like it's got a little more coverage on it. But wow. That's... That's crazy. That is crazy, guys. It's crazy. The difference between these two is obvious. It's definitely, this one is, to me, it's not as much coverage as the older one. The older one give more coverage, I feel like. Just a personal thing. Um, it's obvious, even though I know that I used, they, they're still the same formula. It's just two different colors, so it wouldn't have like changed the actual coverage. That wouldn't have changed anything. Um, maybe the brightness, just a tad, because that one had a little bit of a brightness to it. 
um, a little, I added a little bit more of a brighter and matte maybe, but it's still, it's more flat and it's still more matte. Even, even after not actually having it on now for about a good 20, 30 minutes, this is still matte. It's still more natural, more matte. This one is definitely more radiant. It's got more of that radiance. You can see it. And I mean, I haven't powdered or anything either yet either. So if I powder this, it's definitely going to be a lot more matte than this, than this one for sure, once we powder. So, um, yeah, guys, there you go. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's like this one's definitely more dewier. She's got a little more radiance to her. I feel like it's more of a medium coverage now than it is a fuller coverage, even though it says a full coverage. I mean, and it has a smell now, so now it has fragrance in it where the other one did not before. Um, the ounces are still the same. The packaging is just different. It's glass now, which I know, again, some of you guys don't like glass because something can happen and you can drop it and break it. It's a possibility where this one was more plastic. So this one had more of a plastic um, container to it. Um, but because it's not as sustainable as others, they went to glass. So just keep that in mind and don't drop it because if you drop it and if it hits the floor pretty hard, it's a possibility that it could shatter. I know a lot of people with the, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to pull it out here, the Lancôme, the Hypnose, they dropped it and they dropped it. It's one of the things they don't like about it because it's glass, it's 100% glass. So just keep that in mind that sustainable packaging it's like, it's a good thing and it's great for the environment, but just keep in mind that it is a little bit more, if you're a little bit more of an accident prone type person <laughs> and you drop things, you just gotta be a little bit more careful. Um, you know, but yeah, again, they're the, they look the same other than the packaging. The, the logos change a little bit more. The box is a little bit more. The old one is more shiny where the new one is more, they've made it more sustainable as well. Um, so they've made it more, it's more matte. I mean, it feels a little bit more, lit. this one feels more sturdy. This one feels more flimsy. So that's a sustainable on that too. Um, so, and they're both still the dermatologist tested non-comedogenic. So that's still the same. This one has 90%, 96% floral extract of the wild pansy and the yellow now, where the older formula did not. This one does not have any fragrance to it. The older did not. And it had more coverage and it was more matte. Um, so... Unfortunately, I hate to tell you guys, but I was I was hoping I was going to come on here and say they are the same. They're the very much the same. They're not, you know, they're not going to be any different. You guys don't have to worry because I know a lot of you guys were worried about the new formula and whether it was going to be the same, what it was going to do, what was going to but we're going to give you the same results that the old one did. Um, now, I also forgot to mention that they do have 30 shades in this now, where before I think it was 28. Um, but the new one is $2 more now. So now for the same ounces and everything, it, this one was 38, but this is two, This is 40 now. Um, but that, again, that's just the times right now. Everything is going up another dollar, $2 every six months, especially in cosmetics. So just keep that in mind that this one is a little bit more pricey now than it was before. Not that it was too much difference, but it's $2 more. So $2 is $2. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's obvious, guys. I mean, look at the look at the difference in the coverage. The coverage is better on the side. It's a little bit more, it's got a little more matte. Now again, I'm hot and it is a little more, but compared to this side, see how much more shinier it is on this side? Um, which to me, again, I'm not gonna mind this. This I'm not gonna mind. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna like this one a lot more. This one was a little too matte for me. Um, and maybe in the summer, it's not so bad. Um, it might be okay in the summer, but right now in the winter, it's a little much for me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I have enough of these to play with them and mix them, so I can still mix. So, I mean, that doesn't bother me any at all. And I mean, um, you know, if you wanted to get one and you wanted to mix your other one in with it, it might give you just the right amount of what you want if you want to do that. I don't know many people that go out and buy two and three concealers, you know, just because I review product, um, I have a lot to do that with. I know that most people are not going to buy two or three concealers and mix them together. They're going to buy one and they want to use that one and that is it. So, um, if that is the case and if you are almost out of this one, if you didn't stock up on it, um, then if you go, you could definitely, me, I would give it a tr shout out, especially if you're a lot drier. I think you're going to like it being drier or more normal to dry. I think you're going to like this one better now. Um, cause it is a little bit more, it's got a little bit more of a glow. It looks a little bit more healthier where this one is a little bit more matter and it looks a little bit more flatter. 
Um, but it, but it does, this one has a little more coverage too. If you don't like a lot of coverage, you'll like this one more. Um, it's just going to be typically on you, the consumer, and what you like and what you don't like. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that pretty much sums it up, guys. I don't know what else to say. I mean, other than, um, you know, there's, the, there's those comparisons. I mean, it, they're, it's a good comparison. It can be good or it can be bad. It depends on how you look at it. I mean, if you wanted that full coverage immediately, you may not get it with this one because I built this one up. Now, this is what my third time building this one up. And just the, and I did that with one, one swipe and went back in with a little bit after. And this is two times. This is three. Um, this is still the glow. This is more than matte. So, I mean, I don't know what else to say about it. I mean, they're just, it's just totally, they're different. They're different concealers. Um, you know, the, even with this, with the smell, I mean, this one, if you've got a sensitivity, the smell, you're not gonna, you're not gonna let, now I really do like the packaging. Now it is starting a little bit around the top, but it's not bad. I can wipe that off because I just whipped it a bit, but it is, the packaging's a little bit better. So I do like the way that it pulls out better. Um, and the dough fit is the same, so that didn't change. Um, so yeah, so I don't know. You guys leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know what your thoughts are. I know that a lot of you are going to be upset. I know that a lot of you were upset about Air Flash. I know a lot of you were upset. Some of you were probably upset about this too, if you love this. Um, some of you were upset about the new mascaras because they redid all the mascaras. I mean, the Dior's just don't read the whole, all, the whole thing. Um, some of you, the same thing with Skin Glow and Forever Matte. Some of you like the older formula better than you like the newer formula. I know I like the older Skin Glow better than the newer one. Um, so, but this concealer, I think I'm going to use more. So you'll see me using this one more. I think I'm going to actually use it more, but I still have, um, this one and I still have the older one. Um, you know, this one is, she's about to go though, cause I've had this one now almost a year and a half or more and she's starting to smell a little bit. So it's about time to get close to getting rid of her, but I still have my other one for brightness and I can use it and mix it in with this one or the Dior show and be perfectly fine with it and I would be okay. But, um, but yeah, guys, leave comments down below. Let me know what you think. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I would love to have you join our family. If you're not subscribed and joined our family, I would love to have you. We would love to have you because, um, you know, we're a family here. If you didn't like the video, I can always tell you, I can't help you. can't help you. So, anyway, you know, I just have, I just had to give you a pat on the back, a hug, and just say, you know, thanks for watching. <laughs> Uh, with that said, guys, you know, be safe, be strong, be proud, then tall. Love yourself. Remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. Also, remember to be kind to someone because kindness can go off a long way. And also remember to bring a little joy, a little happiness to your life. Make sure you smile. And, um, yeah. So, anyway, you guys take care. And, um, with this Dior, <laughs> Dior, Dior delicious scandal that we've got going on here. And, uh, we will see you again in the next episode. Bye.